Welcome to the video fixing Excel data imported from websites or other sources from swanseatechsupport.co.uk. Okay, so this is some data I've imported from a website called commonsensehealth.com, and this is quite uh, common that you know you get this web uh, this data from websites and. You know, you just can't really uh, do anything with it, you know. We try to sum those, it'll come up as zero. Uh, usually this is because um, it's imported it as text. So just to check, is text that? Uh, press Control Enter and it says, yep, true, it is text. So usually when we get stuff imported in as text, it, we normally just change it to a value by using the value command over there. Okay, and that just comes up saying, nope, you can't do that. So I'll just try converting this over because with with this data, sometimes you don't, whoops, not like that. Okay, double click in there and we can see that what we get is actually a leading space in there. So sometimes when I get stuff like that, I can normally just trim that space off. So to trim it off, just add in the trim command in there. Okay, and another bracket there, close out that. And we get it's still not working even with the trim. Now, delete that. Okay. Now over on the uh, Microsoft website, uh, it does give uh, this page here removing spaces and non-printed characters from text. So it's basically that there's some other characters there which uh, you can't remove except by substituting them for another character. Okay. If, if you want to read that. Um, you know, I'll put the le the link on here so you can see what I'm talking about there. But I'm just going to go just, and just jump in straight into creating a macro in order to deal with this problem. So to open up the macro, we're going to press Alt F11 to open up Visual Basic. And in VBA, we're going to insert a module. OK, we're going to call this module uh, something like sub uh, text to values say okay it's gonna get our in, in so that's fine now um let's say for each cell in selection um next cell okay um for each cell in selection basically what i want to do is the cell dot value is going to be equal to cell dot value multiplied by one uh, this is something that mike gervin from excel is fun uh told me how to do basically you uh perform any mathematical operation on the value and it's going to convert it back into a value from a text so, so that will work fine the only problem with that is that uh when i come to here oops OK, um, when I come to these blank cells in here, it's going to think blank times one is going to be nothing and it's going to import input uh, naught into there. So I just want to alter this um, macro slightly to stop it from happening. And so I'm going to put an if statement in here and say if cell dot value is not blank, not equal to blank, then Okay. Oh, didn't need the equal, did I? Okay. It's not blank. And then I'm going to end the if on that one. Okay. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. So that's that, and that will work fine. Now, I have one other thing here, which is that on these i have these um headings in here all the way through i don't know how common that is but the data because i've imported it from the website that's the way it's laid out and all i want to do is just you know show you how you can use that data from the microsoft website just to kind of tie this up i mean you can see here that i still got this uh, trailing space here so i'm just going to show you how to use that on the text and tidy up all the text as well so well, what I'm going to do for that is that every time it's going to do this multiplication on the text, it's actually going to come up with an error. So I can actually use my error handler to um, 
change everything that's going to be text. So on error resume next, that's going to be fine. I'm going to say if the error number, so okay, if the error number is not zero, that is if there is an error, then I want cell dot value is equal to application dot worksheet function there uh, dot trim to trim that training space off we're going to replace cell dot text and in cell dot text it has to be cell dot text here rather than cell dot value as well uh, ch160 we're going to replace character 160 with a normal space, character 32. Close that off, close that off, close that off. And do the same thing here. Okay, copy that one. Uh, and we're going to also clean these as well as trim them. Okay, let's so clean that one. And that's going to clean character 127. And replace that with character 7. Again, that's all explained on the Microsoft website. So that, if, as long as I've typed it in correctly, should actually work. I just need another end if there. And end that if. Okay. And that on okay that should all now hopefully work let's just compile this check that I've done everything correctly okay so now if we save that and then come back to here okay make our selection uh, come back in there okay Values and run that one. Okay. Well, hopefully that will have worked. Okay. Say so equals is text on that one. Control Enter, and that's now false, and that's going to be hopefully false for all of them. Yep. Okay. So that's worked. Okay. So that's that macro. Um, if you want to just create a shortcut to that macro you can come over to alt f8 uh, got text to values that's fine options in there and now I'm going to put the shortcut key text to values so I'll just put a V there to change it to values click OK and close that out and then with the next one we can do exactly the same thing this time using the shortcut key I just created control shift V OK equals is text uh, that's false that's worked okay and then finally on the proteins control shift v and that's changed it as well okay so that's it for this video a complete copy of this code plus uh, a more detailed explanation of what we just covered can be found at www dot swansea tech support dot co dot uk thank you very much for watching